My name is Colleen, and this is my kitchen. I've struggled with my weight my entire life. After trying every diet in the book without any success, I came to the realization that diets don't work. I started my journey at a size 26W weighing just over 300 pounds. In almost a year and a half, I've lost over 120 pounds, and I am a size 14. No W. What's my secret? Eating healthy and moving more. Now I'm here to show you how you can cook healthy food without compromising on taste and lose weight just like I have. Because if I can do it, you can too. Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. So tonight I have a really great seafood dish for you. We're going to be doing a balsamic glazed tuna. I'm using albacore tuna steaks for this. And then we're going to be pairing that with roasted lemon asparagus. And this asparagus is in season right now and it's just absolutely perfect. So let me show you how I prepare that. We're going to actually start with the asparagus because it will cook uh, a little bit, takes a little bit longer to cook than the uh, tuna. So to get that started, I have a mixing bowl here, and I'm going to put in one tablespoon of olive oil, and then I have two lemons, and my first lemon, I'm just going to juice in. Make sure you don't get any seeds in there. My second lemon, I'm going to cut it in half this way, and then I'm going to cut it into thin crescent moon shapes. We are, we're actually going to roast these with the asparagus. It's going to give it a little extra burst of flavor. So I'm going to throw it right in my bowl there. And I'm not going to add any salt to this simply because I'm going to be adding some Parmesan cheese a little bit later. And Parmesan cheese is very salty. So I'm not going to add anything other than the lemon lemon juice and olive oil right now. So next up what we need is our asparagus and I have one pound of fresh asparagus. Now when you go to buy this uh, you want to make sure that the ends when you pick it up that they aren't all dried out and you can do that by looking at them. It should be sitting in water and the ends should be nice and moist. Instead of trimming these what I like to do is break them because they will break at exactly the point where they are the most tender and so this is the part that you don't want to eat. It's going to be a drier, it's going to be stringier. So break each one by hand. It takes a little bit longer but you have a much better result. There's nothing worse than biting into a piece of asparagus that's tough and stringy. Once I have that in my bowl I'm going to give that whole thing a good toss and when I get the asparagus coated with that lemon juice and the olive oil. Now I have my oven preheating to 400 and I have a baking sheet here that I've sprayed with some nonstick olive oil cooking spray. And I'm just going to take this asparagus and lay it out in a single layer. And kind of arrange those uh, lemon slices to make sure that they're evenly distributed. So we're going to start by baking these for uh, about 10-15 minutes and then I'll show you the next step. While that asparagus is cooking, let's get started on that balsamic glazed tuna. And so for that, I have three albacore tuna steaks. The recipes that we're making tonight will serve three people. And I have a half a teaspoon of fine sea salt and about a half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper here. I'm just going to sprinkle each side with a little bit of each. and kind of pat it in and then we're going to do the other side. So 
So once we have our tuna steak seasoned, I have a pan here that I put one tablespoon of olive oil in. I've been heating it on medium heat. And I'm only going to let these cook for about one minute on each side. The fish is on its second side here, so now what I'm going to do is add three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. And what I like to do, drizzle one whole tablespoon over each steak. Then I have a quarter cup of a dry red wine. Add that in there. And I want to turn the heat up just to a medium high, bring this to a boil, let that wine reduce down just a little bit. Once that wine has reduced down, I'm going to add two sprigs of uh, rosemary, fresh rosemary that I chopped up here. And then I have one clove of garlic. And then I have a half a cup of a clear homemade vegetable broth. It's salt free and it's clear. Now if you're going to use a store bought broth, I would recommend using finding either a fish broth or clam juice. Um, and the reason for that is that uh, your store-bought vegetable broth tends to be overly mushroomy or carroty. It tends to have a discoloration to it. So if it's not a clear broth, go for a fish broth or a clam broth. And I'm going to pour that right over that whole mixture there. And then I'm going to take my pan, turn my burner off, and I'm going to put it in the oven. The asparagus has been in there for about 10 minutes. I'm going to put it right in there at 400 with the asparagus for about uh, five more minutes. At the same time, my asparagus is roasting up really, really nicely here. I have one ounce, which is about a quarter cup, of grated or shredded Parmesan cheese here. And I'm going to take it and just sprinkle it right across the top. And I'm going to pop it back in the oven. And we'll take these out at the same time. So my tuna is done. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove those tuna steaks onto a plate here and then I'm going to cook down the liquid that's left over we're going to cook that down until it reduces down into a, kind of a thickened sauce but first I want to cook it over medium heat. And first, I want to go ahead and add two more tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Yes, this recipe has a lot of balsamic vinegar, but I promise it is very, very good. So I'm, I'm going to cook that on medium high until it reduces down and it's a little bit thicker. At the same time, I need to take my asparagus out of the oven. That sauce is cooking down there, so let me show you how I serve this up. I've got my roasted lemon asparagus, my balsamic glazed tuna here. I'm going to take just a little bit of the sauce with the balsamic vinegar and the wine <coughs> and the rosemary, and I'm going to just drizzle it right on the top of that. Now, if you want to make it prettier, you could strain the rosemary out, but I don't love the taste of rosemary, so I'm going to leave mine in there. Then I have some freshly chopped Italian parsley. And uh, just a small bunch of that, I'd say maybe two tablespoons total. And just sprinkle a little bit, sprinkle a little bit right there on top. And that's it. That's all that you need. I hope that you give this a try. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy my lovely meal. And I hope that you give this a try. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time in my kitchen.